Hey, it's show and tell time. What I'm showing you is the periodic table, which uh, represents chemistry probably more than any other uh, item. But I have a special version of the periodic table, and here it is. It is all embedded in acrylic, and it normally sits on my uh, living room table, so I can glance at it every time when I'm watching TV. And it's uh, very soothing for me to be so close to this uh, amazing uh, item, the periodic table. Well, it was put together by the Russian chemist, uh, uh, Mendeleev, in 1870. And uh, Mendeleev uh, is a amazing figure in the history of chemistry. He looks more like a caveman than a scientist. But he found that if he took some cards and he wrote the name of the elements on them and he arranged the elements in order of their chemical properties, he came up with what today we recognize as the, the periodic table where the elements listed in downward uh, periods, as they are called, have similar chemical properties. And he was able to predict the existence of elements that had not yet been discovered at that time. So Mendeleev was uh, certainly uh, a great contributor to the history of chemistry. He was also a very interesting personality. Uh, when he was already a senior professor, he fell in love with a young student who was um, about uh, 30 years younger than him. The unfortunate problem was that he was also married at the time, and uh, he was able to get a divorce. However, at that time, the Russian church decreed that even when you had a divorce, you were not able to get married a second time for seven years. Well, Mendeleev found a priest who married him to the young lady anyway. And when uh, this was brought to the attention of the Tsar, and uh, you know, supposedly he was going to take some action against uh, Mendeleev, he refrained from doing that because he said, well, Mendeleev may have two wives, but I have only one Mendeleev. When he died in 1907, age of 72, his funeral procession included numerous students who were carrying signs with the periodic table painted on them. He is buried in, uh, in Russia, but of course he is remembered everywhere around the world where people study chemistry because indeed uh, the periodic table is you know the the essence of uh, understanding of chemistry and that for today is our show and tell